Hello, good morning. It is September 14th at 11.02 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I wanted to talk about some deep earthquake activity that I believe is going to challenge the Pacific Northwest over the course of the next week. If I click on some of these earthquakes and they look shallow, that's only while I'm clicking to show you some of the deep earthquakes. Disregard anything that looks shallow. I will make sure that you know which ones are deep. Within the last 24 hours, we have a 5.4 that struck the Aleutian Island chain of Alaska, 73 kilometers deep. There is a 4.1, September 10th, 181 kilometers deep. 3.3, a week ago, 70 kilometers deep. 3.0, 79 kilometers deep. Within the last 24 hours, 2.7, 192 kilometers deep within the last 24 hours. A 3.0, 134 kilometers deep within the last week. 2.6, within the last week, 102 kilometers deep. 2.6, three days ago, 99 kilometers deep. But ultimately, I think you get the point. I am concerned about the deep earthquake activity. And so with that said, I'm going to issue these warnings. The Cascadia subduction zone is currently under assault right now due to a global deep earthquake seismic event that is currently threatening most tectonic plate subduction zones around the world. A few days ago in my September 11th video, I mentioned the likelihood of a deep 4.1 earthquake in the Aleutian Island chain becoming a threat to the interior portion of the Juan de Fuca and North American tectonic plates. My concern in that video was that these deep earthquakes would begin to penetrate the Cascadia subduction zone in the deeper locked subduction areas. By September 13th, two days later, a 2.8 magnitude struck the subduction zone near the coast of Portland, Oregon. Of course, earthquakes occur all the time, and a 2.0, excuse me, a 2.8 earthquake is absolutely not a cause for alarm under most circumstances. Viewed in isolation, this earthquake is completely insignificant. However, I am here to warn you that under this global deep earthquake event, the Cascadia subduction zone will be challenged at least until the deep earthquake event concludes this continuous and frequent pattern of large deep earthquakes in the far west Pacific. For example, USGS data shows 88 earthquakes over magnitude 2.5 that are at least 200 kilometers deep. The largest of these, a 6.6 .6 magnitude occurred 591 kilometers under Fiji on September 1st, 2019. There are many observations concluding that these deep earthquake events are leading to the spread of additional related earthquakes as the seismic pressure releases closer to the, sh to the crust or more shallow events. My hypothesis here is that these events, particularly if they reach Alaska, Washington, Oregon, and California, are the types of events that pose the largest threat to trigger a Cascadia subduction zone mega quake event. Let's remain on watch for the Cascadia subduction zone. It is capable of mega earthquakes between 8.5 and greater than nine magnitude. Now is not the time for a false sense of security Anybody living in Northern California, Oregon, Washington, British Columbia coast should prepare for an emergency plan now or dust them off and refine them. Remember, the last great event occurred in 1700 and an event occurring now fits the schedule, the geological routine of every three to 500 years of eight magnitude or greater earthquakes. So what city should be most concerned about a mega Cascadia subduction zone quake. Let's start with Northern California. I've got to give a shout out to Ukiah and the Clear Lake cities. I'm extremely concerned about anything on the coast, any cities on the coast, okay? Fort Bragg, Petrolia, Cape Town, Eureka, Arcata, 
Bayside, McKinleyville, Crescent City, Willow Creek. In Oregon, I am extremely concerned about Brookings, Gold Beach, Port Orford, Bandon, Myrtle Point, Coquille, Coos Bay, Reedsport, Florence, Junction City, Harrisburg, Newport, Weldport, Lincoln City, Wilhelmina, Sheridan, Tillamook, Bay City, Rockaway Beach. I am definitely extremely concerned about these locations. I'm also extremely concerned about Portland and Oregon City. Heading into Washington State, I'm concerned about Grisham, Vancouver, Camas, Washougal, Orchards. I'm extremely concerned about Cannon Beach, Seaside, Astoria, Ocean Park, South Bend, Raymond, Westport, Ocean Shores, Aberdeen, Montesano, Elma. I'm definitely extremely concerned about Seattle and Tacoma and surrounding cities. I'm extremely concerned about Everett, Oak Harbor, Bellingham, Anna Cortez. I'm extremely concerned about British Columbia cities, Victoria, Nanaimo, Surrey, Abbotsford, Vancouver, Courtenay, Campbell River, Friday Harbor, White Rock, Richmond, and all Vancouver Island cities. Other cities I'm generally concerned about, to a lesser extent, but should be greatly concerned, would be Salmon Creek, Scapoose, St. Helens, Columbia City, Woodland, Longview, Clatscanny, Vernonia. In Oregon, I am definitely concerned about McMinnville, Newburgh, Sherwood, Wilsonville, Beaverton, Lake Oswego, Tualatin, Tagard, Hillsboro, Forest Grove, Dallas, Salem, Almsville, Sublimity, Jefferson, Independence, Monmouth, Corvallis, Albany, Lebanon, Sweet Home, Junction City, Harrisburg, Winston, Yonkala, Drain, Myrtle Creek, Cottage Grove, Roseburg, Sutherland, Creswell, Grants Pass, Central Point, Medford, Cave Junction. California, I'm definitely concerned about Willits, Laytonville, Covello, Redway, Rio Dell, Fortuna, Hay Fork, Willow Creek. Okay, so be prepared, I'm putting you on notice now. No excuse to live in these areas and have a, your entire lifetime as a head start and not have an earthquake plan. These events that are going on right now are threatening the Pacific Northwest and Northern California. With that said, I'll sign off. Don't be scared, be prepared, be a little scared, but not to the point of being irrational. Prepare, that's all you can do. And when the event takes place and you know what to do, you will be safe, keep in mind. 99% plus of the population will be just fine. Prepare to make sure that you're not that 1% or less than 1% or 0.1%. Prepare to lessen your chances of the catastrophe. Okay, I'll sign off and stay tuned because I'm gonna have more. Oh, 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 oh,